I like 18 and I like Gohan, but the problem is I don't think they're very strong together. This brings me up to a point that I wanted to talk about, actually. A lot of people are trying to theorycraft on how to create teams. And uh, sort of the way I think about it right now is a lot of people are building teams with this idea, right? Point character, assist character, assist character, right? They're building teams like this. There's Vegeta. I'm so happy his face is cut off by mine. Fuck you, Vegeta. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. What I really meant to say is thanks very much to Ping for the uh, subscription for three months in a row. Mm. I think that, uh, what's it called? I don't think that's the way to, uh, what's it called? To build teams in this game, right? I don't actually think that's the the correct way to do this. Um, I think that it's better to sort of build a team with a different idea in mind. And so it's kind of how I build my team, right? So the team that I play is Goku Black, uh, Hit, and Beerus, right? So when I play this team, the, the philosophy is slightly different than like a normal Marvel 3 team. The Marvel 3 style is point character, uh, assist or like lock, lockdown assist or straight like for, uh, horizontal assist and then third character the opposite of whatever you just had pl plus anchor and in this game I don't think that's it sort of works like that I think it's a little different in the sense that like what you do instead is you build around a character the first character is your your best neutral character right I think that's sort of how I thought about this 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 game right so when I look at my team for instance I'll, I'll walk you through the sort of the strategy behind it Right. So the strategy behind a team like this is is not like what I just mentioned, which is like have your assist and blah blah all this stuff, right? Um, it's sort of that the real point character on my team, or point character on my team is Hit. The character I want on point is Hit, right? But I start with Goku Black, and the reason is that I think Goku Black has stronger neutral. Um, let me move my camera actually. I think I like Goku Black as a neutral character better, and I think he's better to, to set up hit. So here's kind of the philosophy behind my team. So what I do is I play Goku Black, and what I my goal with Goku Black is to get the hit. And once I get the hit, uh, I will tag immediately into my real point character, who's going to run the corner pressure, and who's going to run like the mix-ups on point. And the great thing about this team is that I, it's built like uh goku black is the character that needs to land the hit and then once he's out he has beam assist which is super useful to set up hit right that's sort of the philosophy so the philosophy is goku black does his stuff he gets his hit like whatever right and then i tag into hit pretty quickly here i want hit out on the screen instead of goku black so you know if you do something like this Right, and now Hit's on the screen. And Hit is on the screen now, in the corner, against Frieza, with both of his assists to back him up. He didn't have to play neutral game. He is now in there. And after that Goku Black combo and this combo, like, Frieza's dead. Right, the Frieza's dead, just like that. So that's kind of the philosophy about, like, the way I build this team, right? That's kind of the philosophy about building a team. And the nice thing is, is that Goku Black, like, he still works with, like, with Hit's assist and, and with Beerus' assist. Like, that's all fine, right? I can still lock down people. I can still find my offense. But Goku Black is just a more stable character to start the round with. And then once he's tagged out, he has an excellent assist that I can pump, right? See what I mean? So that's kind of the philosophy behind the team that I'm playing currently. I don't think that it's necessarily the way to play the character. Like, you don't have to play the game like this. But it's sort of just what I think about when it comes to building a team in this game. Because uh, when you get hit in this game, you build a ton of blue life. And so because of that, swapping out characters is really important. So it's great to let Goku Black kind of start things out and then immediately turn and thank Chicano Soul for the... Uh, Twitch Prime there. Uh, I'll answer that in a second. Let Goku Black start. Let him get beat up a little bit. Tag into uh, what's it called? Uh, tag into Hit and let Goku Black regenerate life and then fight from there. So that's sort of the way to uh, to do it. My dresser drawer. Nothing is open back there. It might look open, but it's not. 
Well, wait, Beerus is just a character that I like playing, and he has a good lockdown assist. That also gives me a good combo assist. Yes, Nakiel, Nakiel is the same way, right? Adult Gohan is the character that he wants to play on point, but he plays uh, Kid Buu first a lot of times instead. You don't know how to get in on somebody in this game? Yeah, it can be a little tough. Uh, if you play hit, you hit five medium and you're in, right? But in general, I was talking about this earlier, right? So to land the hit, there's a couple of things to look for. If you're like playing a character and you think they're gonna jump it, like jump in the air and try to like air dash at you, because instant air dash is a great way to get in, right? Instant air dash forward and backwards is really powerful. Uh, if you think they're gonna do that, then you jump and jab. Jump jab is a really powerful tool, and you can whiff your jump jab and then still double jump after. It's like you're playing Soul and Guilty Gear, right? So with with your jump jab, and if your opponent happened to also be jumping forward with like you know some kind of button, you can actually air to air them, get your combo, get your setup in the corner here, and then etc. Right? Your jumping L is such an important button for you to use, right? Two H is a good air to air or an anti air, yeah for sure. But it's also like one of those things where anti-airing in this game is hard because if he jumps at me and double jumps, suddenly my anti-air is going to whiff. Well, not now. I did the double jump. What a weird. But like, he just jumps over me. I spe like, what happens if he if he does like an assist, right? What happens if he jumps, calls an assist, and does it? Oh man, I did a wrong assist. But what if he does jump, call an assist with a double jump or something? Then it's going to beat the traditional anti-air. You can't, you can't really think about it like a normal anti-air in a game, right? You can't just be like, oh yeah, he jumped at me. Well, I'm in a 2 age right? It, it doesn't really work as much as like in Street Fighter, someone jumps and you uppercut. So sick. Oh yeah, that was one. I had such cool combos with Gohan on this team. It's crazy. All right, I want to learn another team. So this is my main team, but I would like to learn a second team. All right, I would like to learn a second team. Yeah, Gotenks assist, I think maybe is good for a lockdown defense assist, but I don't know if it's that good. Like, it's not good for like setups or any like high mobile situation. I kind of want to learn the force. I kind of want to learn the force. Learn team Goku. All right, somebody banned that guy. Uh, <laughs> have I played online? I've been playing casual matches, but I haven't played any ranked yet, no. Tien, Goku, Vegeta, jeez. I kind of want to learn the Force. You guys don't rock with the Force? You guys don't like the Force? Ah. You don't like Ginyu? I'm about the Ginyu Force. The Ginyu Force is so sick. Ginyu's cool. So here's the characters I've learned how to play so far, right? The characters I've I messed with and learned how to play, right? I know how to play Gohan. Uh, I learned regular Goku. I learned Blue, uh, Goku, and Vegeta. I played a little Trunks. I played a little Gotenks. I played a little Teen Gohan. I played some Hit. I hit Goku Black and Beerus is my main team, so I know them. And 18. So I haven't messed with like maybe half the cast. I don't like Goku Blue that much. I think Vegeta Blue is way cooler. You guys like 16? What about Cell? I think Cell is a character I'd probably like. I messed with him a little bit. I was messing with uh, with this team. This is the team I was playing a little bit. This is this is a team of bad motherfuckers for sure. This is a team of bad motherfuckers. I don't know how to do the cell loops. I've never tried them. Drop pink, it's so basic. Are you talking about Goku Black? That's a team of bad motherfuckers right there, right? Um, I want to learn a Gohan team though, so... Gohan, I, I like Cell, Ginyu, and 16. So what do you guys think, huh? You like, of, the, of those two, which do you like the most? Of Cell, Ginyu, and 16? Dro drop a couple of names there. Cell, Ginyu, and 16. I, I also kind of want to try Team Gohan. Maybe we'll just learn Team Gohan a little bit too. I've never played 16 and Ginyu. 
Ginyu and 16. You know I mean? I'll just mess with these characters real quick. Do I have blue colors? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the pink robot. This character's... All right, all right, all right. We're just messing with these characters. We're gonna mess with them a little bit. I, I kind of want to learn some of these combos. Captain Ginyu. Trying to do Trunks corner loops. Uh, yeah, I want to try some of these combos. I want to learn all of them. Height order. <laughs> Does Ginyu have, even have a good assist? Yeah, his assist isn't bad. It's a shoulder charge. Uh, so his assist is not that bad. Whoa. Oh, he has a light. A uh, low light. Yeah, yeah. Ah. All right. So what's what's the Gohan combo? Oh, he doesn't have a blast. He doesn't have like a quarter circle forward blast. Does he have it in the air? He doesn't have one. I guess. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. He's got his strike kick. Is that a combo? Yeah, it's like that. That was kind of tight. His level one is this. I think you can teleport here, right? Oh, whoops. This character's dumb. All right, let's learn Genyu. So I've been messing, I messed with him a little bit, uh, Genyu. I think that he has some cool stuff, uh, to be honest with you. So he's got the charge, which is, this is his assist. Uh, which you guys have probably seen before, right? Um, the other thing about Ginyu that I kind of like is that he basically is just a he, like he has a bunch of assists, right? So if you hit every time you hit an S, you call a member of the Ginyu Force, right? And you can change your input by doing like quarter circle forward, and you get an enhance like a different enhanced version of the kind. So there's this, yeah, these two together are fucking crazy. Jace has the coolest ones for sure. Wow. He also has one where he charges all the way up. I don't know what that one is about. Look at this. <laughs> it's crazy. So he's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's always the same order. You know Jace is coming in hot right after. Oh my god, I fucked my combo. The body swap. Yeah, he can charge up his level 1. So you can turn it into a level 3. Because his level three is body swap, right? Yeah, you can do it from the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can make him charge up. Alright, little guy. What? It doesn't do a lot of damage. That's kind of cool. Right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it has super armor? Okay. Riku! Oh. <laughs> you just run for your. I think this character. This character's pretty tough. Oh man. 
Have I seen his level 1 DHC glitch? No. Oh, it's like a wall, you're saying? Look at that Ginyu Force pose. Oh my god, it's fucking sick. That was pretty tight. Jace has like the best moves, dude. Really cool. Oh, really? Is that, is that real? It didn't work right there. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't Z-change. Two bars. Charge it two bars. I'm not sure exactly how this works. Think, do I have to charge it to two bars or just charge it to right here? Pretty cheap. Look at this mother look at this motherfucker's jabs. Why? Are, you see this? Why can he hit you from so I don't understand. Oh, do you have to do like down and down? Yeah. How do I make that call? Ah, oh, that makes sense. You have to do a light so that it pulls you up. This character 16 seems buff. Also, the fact that he can... Uh, what's it called? The fact that he can air dash off of this is crazy. He can whiff and then still move. Is instant death super? Yeah. A lot of people like trolling that, that uh, super. Which is like honestly not not that hard to beat newer players online with, especially, right? Why does this have armor? My question is why can he Damn, you just get in people's ass with this character. Jesus. Uh, I'll show you. He doesn't care. He just does, he doesn't give a fuck about you. Let me try He doesn't give a fuck. He's definitely a buff character. 
Can you Gohan and Gotenks for Poser team? How are you gonna call them Poser? How are you gonna call that team Poser team? First of all, I'm really sad about Gotenks, by the way. He doesn't play like I had hoped he played yet so far, so I don't know. I'm kind of. Who would I recommend with hit? Uh, Goku Black. And one lockdown assist. I think a beam assist and a lockdown assist is really useful for hit. Because hit's one of the few characters that can combo very easily. Because that's the, the main team I'm playing, right? Hit can combo very easily off beam assist because of his movement. A lot, not a lot of other characters can combo meteorlessly off beam assist as easily as hit can because of how fast he is. Um, so I think that's good. And then a lockdown assist so that... Because he's so good when he has an assist that takes time. That's why Sonic Fox's team is so good. That 16 assist has so much like lockdown. You just stuck. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I heard about the glyphs. That's pretty wild. Man, speaking of which, I'm seeing all these teams online that are like Yamcha, TN, Krillin or something. You guys are just not trying to be my friend. Like, those characters are all fine. Just put one of those on your team, right? It's like I had to take one second Holy to thank shit. Space General Brave McEvick for the 10 months. Thanks very much. I need to blow my nose, guys. I'm, I'm still a little sick. I'm still a little sick. I'm feeling it. Um, Krillin is a cool character, but come on. Look at this motherfucker. Even even the writers don't like this guy. I, I have no, no problem with Tien, actually, but the writers make, like, they just don't want him to be cool. Like, I don't understand it. They just, sh they shaft him so bad, it's crazy. He gets no love in DBS. It's, it's fucked up. Like, even Gohan is like, like, you know, he, he's not exactly a shining star, but, I mean, the competition's not stiff. Like, Yamcha, I don't know, Yamcha didn't even get invited to represent his universe, and I feel like he has written, like, he's written more positively than Tien, you know? Didn't he do okay in the Tournament of Power? Definitely not. He got fucked up and his best move was to drag someone with him. Like, that's... <laughs> you go out like a chump like that, I don't know. 